across the country, kids are losing interest in traditional team sports. In 2008, a survey found about 45% of kids 6 to 12 played organized sports on a regular basis, so almost half. A decade later, that number fell to just 38%. That's according to the Aspen Institute, and that's from 2018, before COVID even hit. New data shows the pandemic only making things worse. Let's bring in Travis Dorsch, founding director of Utah State University's Families and Sport Lab. He also ran that Aspen Institute study. Travis, this decline didn't happen overnight. What's going on here? Well, I think we did see that trend line uh, early in the decade of the teens. You know, one, one positive we saw in the state of play report from the Aspen Institute in 2019 was a slight increase in the number of kids that were playing. And then, of course, we all remember uh, what happened in March of that year. And COVID has really thrown a wrench in what would otherwise be uh, an upward trajectory of youth playing sports. To me, the sort of what they're doing instead is the important part here. If they're saying organized sports are become too much of a pain and too professionalized, so I'm just playing with my friends or I found other activities, okay, that could be a positive. If they're not doing anything of the sort, stuck inside by themselves, isolated on screens, it's not very encouraging. Well, that's absolutely right. And it's hard to kind of ferret out where the kids are going. I think in some cases, sports are losing kids to other sport. And that's that's not really a net loss if you think about it that way. But in some cases, youth sports, capital Y, capital S, you know, we're losing kids to e-gaming. We're losing kids to other af after school activities, which are great. But we, of course, want our young people to stay physically active as well. So I think over the coming years, as we do a diagnostic and, and a retrospective on COVID and its impact on youth sports, we're really going to have to ask ourselves the questions, we being the adults in the room, researchers, parents, coaches, you know, what are we doing right? What can we continue to emphasize? And what maybe can we improve upon as we try and get these kids back and get the next generation of kids into youth sports? What's working and what's not working? You know, where are the sports retaining more kids than others? Well, a lot is working, but let's for a moment focus on what's not. And I think one thing we're, we're not doing a great job of is we're not actually asking the kids what they want. Uh, youth sport has become a very adult driven industry. And I use the word industry very much on purpose. Uh, you know, again, the coaches, the directors, the parents are, are very much treating it uh, like, hey, we're putting all these resources into it. What are we now going to get in return? What are our kids going to get in return? Whether that's a chance to play in high school, college scholarships, or yeah. a chance to go play professionally. Everybody's kind of looking for that ROI. Exactly. And that feels like it's part of the problem. And maybe in some way sports has to change in order to make it better for everybody. Travis, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it.